So it's shortly after nine in the morning, and we're on our way to Udang to see the, uh, what's the name of the temple? We call Udang Mountain Three Nam. One temple with the three names, we call Richard Drop Mountain, Udang Mountain, and Sakyamuni Temple on the top. Okay, I'll translate that later on once I edit the video. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the road leading up to, uh, to Udang, and you can actually see it. That's where we're going. Now, it's normally 503 steps or something to the top. Uh, so she promised us that he would take us around the back side of the mountain because you can drive halfway up and it's probably about 250 steps so it won't be too bad for two old men. All right, so we're supposedly at the halfway point. I don't believe so, Sheep. Uh, so we'll start our trek up the steps and it's probably... I told him for every step over 250, we're subtracting $1 from his tip at the end of the tour. Now, <clears throat> over here, uh, these people, they sell the birds. So the bird here, they sell for the people who came to arrive at this mountain, and they, they buy the bird to get them free. To get them free. To and set them for free. The for luckiness, for, for clearing, for clear your sin. They, they live. Oh. They clear the scene when you free the bird here. Yeah. Okay. But the birds fly back to them. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start of the steps. Let's start counting. One, two, hello. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll catch up later. Okay, that's step number 100. So we're that's all? almost halfway there. Yep. yep. Five hundred steps on the east side. Okay. Yeah, the east entrance. How many on this side? We don't know. He's gonna count. Oh, we're, no. we're we're at we're, we're at one hundred thirty, Steve. 130, I am yeah. counting. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Wow. Right here. And there's the stupa. We're there. The stupa. We've reached the level. Fortunately, it's all in the shade. And the steps are not steep. We are at 250 steps. And from the looks of it, I don't see him getting much of a tip. This was nothing. We were much younger then. A lovely, lovely breeze. So we're on top of the mount, but not, not on top of the temple. Just when you thought you were finished climbing. So this is before the Kujat Sakya Jedi. Yeah. For holding the women of the Buddha. Oh, this has a piece of the Buddha. Yeah. For yes. The We've got the other two next to each Ooh, other because Sampon Chedei and also Anglu Chedei, the father king. Hmm? So this stupa has a piece of the Buddha. Yeah. For the remain, yes. the Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's start walking up. Seventy more steps up, but look at the view. That's the Buddha flag. <coughs> the view. The Cambodian countryside. Stunning. 
And this is why we got up at 6.30 this morning to get out of the house or the hotel by 8. So we get up here before the sun really starts beating down on you. And right now it's 9.30. From what I saw, my beloved Giants are losing 14 nothing to the Eagles in the first quarter, but that's okay. That's okay. We are a second half team. It's very nice, though, Shane. Yeah. And then the one so far is built by the King Jejeta in 1623. So the dedicated to his father, Frey So Yopo. So that one was built in 1623. Yeah, and this and is the next one built by the, new one. the King Notre Dame. King Notre Dame. Yeah. Also, he built for his father in 1891. The next one, 1891. Uh -huh. Deal for the king. So two more after this. Oh, yeah, you see yeah. two. Uh, this stupa was built by the king, Jay Jita, for his father in 1623 to marry his father remain inside the stupa. 1623. So, this is the oldest one here? Yeah, this is the oldest one. Okay. And the next one, 1891. 1891. And here, what exactly is everybody doing here? Uh, this is the belief. You can see the statues over there. The statue inside the shrine. The Buddha. They're not Buddha. No. It's the belief. The spirit party called Yimau. Yimau. See the one of the most powerful that most people believe, the poor people believe, everywhere in the country. Not only here, mostly at the mountain area, at the highest area. Also, we always see the statues of Ye Mao, we call Madame Mao. Yeah. yeah. See the magic of her powers. They believe some people pray for prosperity to get a good luck or they wish something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some they wish something to the statue. When they got complete the wishing, yeah. they bring like a present for the Ye Mao. They bring a present. The present for reason for offering to the statues, mm -hmm. where they com they complete the promise. So this is a form of animism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why they call Cambodia before with the like animism, Buddhism, Hinduism. Mm -hmm. But only the Buddhism that the king he choose like a religious state. Yeah. The rest of them like Hindu animism, everything like this. Okay. Dragonflies. And the kai, the kai other side, you can see your kai over there. The other side, yeah. from yeah. the kid from the right field, the yeah. kai. A dragonfly nearby, also. They like the, the fields. Yeah. Free a bird? One, one, one bird. One bird. Three bird? One bird. One bird, four thousand real. Oh no, I did a discount. Oh, yeah. You discount, okay? I'm just on top fly with people. Yeah. One bird. Give me half a bird. Half a bird. Just half. Half a bird. Steve, I only have so much memory on my phone. So if we had walked up the 500 steps, this would have been our first major landing. We opted for the short route, drove halfway up, and then walked the remaining roughly 300 steps. 
But now we sent Soshit down to get the vehicle. He's gonna meet us back at the starting point at the bottom of the, we'll call it 500 steps, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. So now the trek down the 500 begins. A little more active on this side. So glad we went the other side. It's on the way up. Still continuing down, met a very interesting elderly gentleman who, in broken English, asked me where I was from. I told him, he said, Oh, my only sister lives in Fresno, <laughs> California. We visited her in California, and then we go to Vermont and New Hampshire. And he continued to tell me how he lost all his family to the Khmer Rouge. Nice old gentleman.